Yeah, it's Spreenet.com, and I already forgot it, but I think it's Spreenet. If you go on Twitter and you follow Sesame Street, you'll see the announcement and you can get there. Um, uh, the people over in the Sesame Street uh, area have really, really, really uh, taken a shine to social media, and um, I think it's excellent because they are giving kids an opportunity to interact with their favorite Muppets and monsters. Um, it also gave me a chance to uh, interact with my f favorite um, Muppets and monsters too. <laughs> uh, who, by the way, my favorite monster is Grover because he is just a crazy kid. Crazy guy. Crazy guy. Especially when he becomes Super Grover. Um... Uh, I remember watching Sesame Street when I was a kid. It was... Is this... Well, wow, that's... That's weird. I wonder if this might be a Thawncraft dungeon here. It could very well be. We'll have to check that out. Um... But in any case, uh, it was absolutely awesome uh, that uh, my son was able to interact with Elmo and wish him a happy birthday. He uh, never would have gotten that chance when he was younger. What the hoo-ha? Oh. Um, well, during my time, uh, you'd have to actually be able to somehow get onto Sesame Street and, um, interact with the monsters and Muppets and stuff like that, um, in that fashion. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> those crazy guys over at, um, Sesame Street were able to, are able to do that now. Um, just on the fly, uh, announce something and then, bam your kid is talking to Elmo and that is beyond the awesome sauce okay well enough about Elmo and all that <laughs> even though that's uh, some really cool stuff um, I'm just flying around getting a few extra resources here and there in there other than sheep. I'm just looking for surface resources just really quick. Um, like uh, that there because they're easy to come by and uh, I can just fly around and we've got more than enough energy to do that now. We don't have to worry about uh, running back to the base every 20 minutes because uh, your jetpack has run out. And this looks like a nice flat area. Yep. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there, so. Let's see here. Do I have it with me? No. Let's check in my pouch. Oh, there we go. This is actually what I want right here. Get rid of that. Because. I'm going to see what we can do to this chest over here. Do we have the chest? No, we've already raided this place. Okay. So we'll just come over here with a, a great big shovel. Like, say, this. and raid all this gravel. Yeah. Oh boy. We're gonna have to try and do a bit more here. Now, some of the things that uh, 
we were working on before I left last time is uh, let me get some place where I can stop and eat and we can chat we're heading back to base in any case um, I'll put the precision over there uh, we just recently made this dude very very nice um, we can now get around pretty quickly um, ah, the quarry. We're going to get ready to move the quarry to uh, the next spot over in the desert. And one thing we're going to do is we're going to build a filler, or uh, let me see if it's called a filler. Let's, let's jump in here. Filler. Yes, it's a filler. Now that filler will allow us to uh, build floors and walls and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is, after I get the resources I need, I'm going to go and cover it up um, with uh, two layers of cobblestone, and then, ooh, 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 no, we got that one too. Two layers of cobblestone and two layers of sand. I want to make sure that um, we can run over the area and we're not going to have a lot of junk going on there, that kind of stuff. So, we'll see how we can do with, how we do with that. Um, uh, there's not much else I can think of right off the top of my head about what to do. Um, we need to find some villages and villagers and use fire nets on them. Because I would like to build an iron farm because we are sadly and sorely in need of iron most of the time. Um, I also want to expand the base as much as I can. And let's head over here and pull out that pick. Because I don't like having um, wisp spawners nearby. And we can use the spawner to our advantage. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can twerk this right here. Nope, I'm going to have to break this. And then get it before I can fire anything off. There we go. And then we're going to mark ourselves a waypoint. Um, new waypoint. I'm going to call this uh, Obsidian Temple 1. We're going to put the Y at build limit to 54. And uh, we don't care about seeing it in the nether. We just want to see it in the overworld. Done. Now, uh, if we go ahead We'll see it way up there, but uh, we're going to go ahead and waypoints hide it. We don't need to see that. And I want to get rid of that latest death, too. So let's edit, and then we will... No, cancel. Ah. Waypoints, latest death, delete. There we go. Delete it. Done. We got all of our stuff back from there. And, of course, I get email. Isn't that always the case? And there's one of the wisps. Okay, so let's see here. There was there's that one there. There's one over here. We're going to fly up above that wisp. It'll despawn if we're lucky. Oh, boy. And, uh... What I'm going to do is try and get these wisp spawners. And they're not really worth much other than uh, XP, I think. Um, one of the other things we're going to end up doing is going to the Twilight Forest eventually. Not right away, but eventually. So we have to come over this way because that's where that other one was. And uh, I want to grab some of those spawners out of there. Because when you put them down in the overworld, those spawners turn into pig spawners. And we can use those pig spawners, um, wonderfully enough, as 
um, food sources. So we can set up a nice pig farm uh, to get ourselves some pork chops and stuff like that. Okay, so there's our base that way. I think the spawner is actually over here because that's where the desert is. Ah, we have, we don't have a lot of space. So, why don't we go ahead and back up to our temporary starter base here, drop off some stuff, and then we're going to go and move that um, quarry. Here we go. Uh, let's drop off this wood. Let's drop off the dirt. Uh, we think we can grind this stuff up. More of those. We have another spawner. I think not here. Is it here? Um, down here. There we go. We've got an apple. And I think we have enough room for everything now. Yeah, we've got more than enough room. What we're going to do is we're going to use a force wrench to, to grab most of that stuff so that we don't lose anything. And we're going to grab as much buckets of force as we can. Grab this wood. There we go. All right, and uh, we will also put this down in here. We don't need all of this stuff, so we'll sort that. We've got another lever in there in case we need it. Um, our tools are here, so we'll put these buckets, and we have wood. There we go. Sort that out. Now, let's see if this is actually working. No, it doesn't. It's not grinding it because it didn't have power. That's why. Yep, it's turning it into two dusts per. There we go. Let's go ahead and top this off while we're here. And uh, I'm going to swap the scythe with our portal gun. Now one trick we can use is we can set the colors on our ender chest here to different colors over and over and over again and set a bunch of pouches because they don't require blaze rods they, they need blaze powder and uh, we can have as many different pouches as we want. But I'm going to do something even sneakier. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab a chest from down here. Where are they? There they are. Let's sort that by column. There. Um, let's go ahead and take the sticky resin and get it turned into our rubber while we're at it. Now what I'm going to do is when we get there dag nabbit I did the wrong one. Oh well. I'll just fly up here and go out. It's not like we can't run there, right? It's not that far away. Whee. Um, and what we can do is we can take all our items and put them in a chest. And then we can use that chest. What did I just pick up? I don't know what I picked up. Hmm. 
And then we can use the, the force wrench on the chest in order to move our things around. We don't have to carry it all in our inventory. Then we could even put a chest of chests if we wanted to. I don't know how well that works. Um, we'll have to, I don't know, we'll have to try it with dirt. But what we're going to do is we're going to come out here and we're going to uh, get everything we can. So let's put down this chest. We don't need the shovel. And if I'm correct, we oh, we can. Okay, cool. We can't force that one, but we can do that to these. And we have to pop these. we go and then we plop that we can pop this and then all the power there we go we have our gold pipe our two stone pipes and a quarry now the quarry is supposed to um, go away when you take it, but it looks like it's degrading somewhat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump all this stuff in here. Oh, not that. I think once we do that, we have everything. We've got our ender chest, our pipes, everything, and then we do that. I'm going to log. Yeah, it's still here. So we're going to have to clean this up. One thing that I forgot to get. And it looks like it's decaying. Yeah, it's decaying just like leaves. So one thing I forgot to get was our um, landmarks. We need those. So this chest here is going to be our um, quarry chest. And if we put this down, we'll see everything is in there. And while we're at it, uh, we're doing that, we're going to put two buckets of water in it. Even though we have water. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to take that with us. All right. Now, our new quarry is going to be right over here. So I'm going to hit F9 twice so I can see the boundaries. So we'll have to move this guy here. And... We need to come over here. And move this guy right there. Now let's put down our chest and grab our landmarks. This is going to be the central one. Alright, this is a 65. Now we have to go to this way. That's one, and this is the second one. So yeah, it's going to be going in the water here. Okay, there's one. Two. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to come over here and activate this to make sure it's appropriate. And I will be back.